Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. We begin this half hour with the uncertainty about the economy. Inflation is pushing up the cost of food faster than at any time since the late 1970s. The latest government data shows food prices rose nearly 11 percent from last year. That's leaving more and more Americans worried about how to pay for their next meal. Lana Zak is here with the solutions some families are turning to. Good morning, Lana. Good morning. With food prices so high, an increasing number of Americans are leaning on their local food bank for help. I recently visited one in Baltimore and witnessed just how essential they are to their clients. Here's a bag for you to put your items in. Even before the truck is fully unloaded, clients begin lining up to receive food at the community center, The Door, in Baltimore. How many do you have your six? You can, you can get six today. The director of The Door, Tema Smith-Wilson, estimates that of the 100 people she sees in a day, about 600 mouths are fed. People coming through and they're just not getting for their families, but they might have a sister or a brother that they're getting a little bit extra for. We have a lot of freezers and refrigerators, but we never need to use them other than storing meats. <laughs> After our distribution days, we've never had anything extra. What's over here? Crystal Jenkins is cooking for five people, including her youngest son, who's nine years old. I feel blessed when I can come back with something and, and help me. They not hungry. That's all I'm saying. They not the going to be hungry. That's right. The price of food has outpaced most other items that have been subject to high inflation. Food prices have jumped 13.1 percent, the biggest one year increase since 1979. So you got two bags at the food pantry today at the door and you got one bag at the grocery store for $20. How long will this food last you? Because you're feeding five people. Yes, something like three days. That's what I'm counting on. And then I'll be back at the pantries again, again. For people dealing with food insecurity, the anxiety can be staggering. Amon Rot Hedden, a single mother of two boys, has seen her income as a food server decrease as food costs rise. So I told my kid that um, we have to save more money and then I even have to go to the grocery in the early morning, like 6, 7 in the morning to get the cheap meat because they on sale cheap meat from yesterday, from the day before. You a lot of energy is going into trying to figure out how to save and still provide for your family. Exactly. Yes, a lot everything in my brain, like, okay, what are I going to do today? What are I going to cook? The problem is compounded. As more people are asking for help, resources are becoming even more scarce. We used to get 700 boxes to distribute to our organization, to the people in our community, and to other organizations. Right now, it's 100. You went from 700 to 100? Yes, to 100. But the number of people you're serving? Is increasing, yes. But we can't complain, because something is better than nothing. Jerry Branch used to run a food bank, but the funding dried up, and so did his income. As a senior citizen, he now finds himself a client in the food line. Was it hard for you to go to the other side of the table? No, not really, because people that I dealt with, you know, was, was just as equal or better than I was. I've never looked at it to, to down anyone. Or, mm -hmm. I, I just never looked at it that way. Are your Social Security checks enough? No. Because <laughs> they're not keeping up with inflation. No, no, right? no. The rising cost of food forcing tough choices. Do you always have enough food? Yes, I pretty much always, thanks to the, um, the door, I always have enough food. Before that, we struggling. When you were struggling to try and find food bank options for your family, did you go hungry? Yeah, I go hungry, but I feel like, thank God, I met this, I met the door before I get very, very hungry. Thank God, I still work for the restaurant, so at least I get one meal to take home with me. As long as they're full, I'm fine. And Amonrot told me that she would not eat that meal. She brought it home to her kids. 53 million Americans turned to food banks for help. And according to Feeding America, the issue of food insecurity faces every single community in the country. And oftentimes these are working poor people, or people who, you know, have one or two jobs that right. they're... They're in there doing the best they can. And in Amonrod's case, she said tips have gone down for her. Mm -hmm. And she's a server, so she relies on tips to be able to buy the food for her family. But as everybody is facing economic problems, she's seeing that people have been, in that case, less able to provide.
Lana Zak, thank you very much. Thank you.